a triangular prism has a right angular cross section. Now this is an image of a uh, triangular prism and this is what I mean by the cross section. So this is a cross section which has the shape of a right angle triangle. The length of the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle is square root of 13x squared. So this length is given to be square root of 13x squared. Okay. The length of the other two sides of the triangle are AX and BX. That means your height is AX, doesn't matter in any order. Your length or your base is BX. And this is a right angle. And A and B are whole numbers. Okay, they're tidy whole numbers. The area of the triangle, so the area of this triangle is given to be 120 centimeters squared. So the question is, we'll find the value of X. So using uh, Pythagoras, uh, we can say using Pythagoras, Pythagoras, what can we say? We can say AX the whole squared plus BX the whole squared is equal to square root of 13X squared the whole squared. Okay, now, so a, AX the whole squared will give you A squared X squared plus B squared X squared. And this is square and square root cancels each other out, so you'll have only 13 X squared. Okay, so you can factor the X squared out. So if you factor the X squared, you have A squared plus B squared is equal to 13 times x squared. So you can divide both sides by x squared, so the x squared will get cancelled. So got a neat result, a squared plus b squared is equal to 13. Okay, so there is one more part, I didn't read the second part. Okay, the area of the triangle is 120 centimeters squared, so what does that mean? Area of a triangle is half base times height, area is given to be 120 centimeter squared. So well that is half times base, your base is BX times your height which is AX is equal to 120. Okay so simplifying this, so this is half ABX squared is equal to 120. Now multiplying two to both sides we can say ABX squared is equal to 120 or 120 times 2 which is 240 240 so we'll leave this aside and now we'll need to think about this so what are we what do we know a and b are whole numbers so this is a crucial word so we'll you have to you can use we'll, we're going to do trial and error because you've got A and B are tidy numbers. So let's make up a table. So I'll say A, B, and A squared plus B squared. So A and B has to be positive, and it has to be whole numbers. So let's start with 1 and 1. If you take 1 and 1, 1 squared plus 1 squared is 2. So this option is not right. If you take 1 and 2, I'll keep this constant, keep increasing. So this is 1 plus 2 squared, which is 1 plus 4, which is 5. So this is not possible. Let me take 1 and 3. So here you've got 1 plus, 1 plus 9, which is 10. So this is also not possible. you got, so let's take 1 and 4. Now this is 17. Now this is, now you don't need to go any further with taking 1, the constant keeping one constant because you've got 17. So you can't, this is the end of the road with A as 1. So let's start with 2 and 1. So this will be 4 plus 1, which is 5. So this is also not possible. So let's take 2 and 3. So this is 4 plus 9, which is 13. So this is right. So A has to be 2 and B has to be 3. Then 
you can get a squared plus b squared is 13. So, well, we can say, well, a is 2 and b is 3. b is 3. So, let's put this 2 and 3 in this. So, we can say 2 times 3 times x squared is equal to 240. So, now dividing both, so this is 6x squared is equal to 240. So, dividing both side by 6, so this is x squared is equal to 240 divided by 6, which is 40. Okay, so your x is, in fact, you should write plus or minus square root of 40. Mathematically, both the answers are right. But here to say, but x has to be greater than 0. But x has to be greater than 0, which implies x has to be only positive. So it's square root of 40. So let's use a calculator. So menu run. So shift square root of 40, which is 6.32. So x is in 2dp is 6.32 centimeters in 2 dp. So now let's check whether this answer makes sense. Now to make sense, this should be this should be tested. Okay, so yeah, a times or 6x squared should give you 240. Okay, so if x is right, 6 times x squared should be 240. Should be 2. 40. So, I'm going to use the calculator. So, I, I need this whole number. So, this is your, you can save this number on a calculator like this. Uh, you to, so, let me drag this here. So, you press this arrow key and you press alpha A. So, calculator remembers A, alpha A, your alphabet A as 6.32, this whole number. So if you press now, cancel this, and if you press alpha A, it will give you this number. So here we are going to check that is 6 times A squared should give, you, give us 240. And there we go. So our answer is right.